My name's Jeff. I've been working for Iceland's for 12 years and I'm a family solicitor at the Crosscakes branch. Injunctions are a way of preventing someone from doing something to you that you don't want them to do or alternatively getting someone removed from part of your house or all of your house. There are two types of injunction available in civil proceedings. The first is to protect you and that is called a non-molestation order which prevents someone from doing something to you that you don't want them to do. For instance, hitting you, constantly phoning you, texting you. The second is an occupation order which can prevent someone from attending your property if they have the legal right to do so. Alternatively, an occupation order can limit the rooms that a person um, who has a legal right to be in your property can use. You must be or have been married in a civil partnership or living together. Alternatively, you could be related to the person against whom you want to get an injunction. For instance, auntie, uncle, brother, sister, mum, dad. You could also have been in an intimate sexual relationship or you could be living in the same property. The applicant and if their children have been the victims of abuse or have a problem with the respondent, their children as well. The court requires the applicant, the person who wants the injunction, to prepare a statement. The statement will be done with your solicitor. The court does not require any other evidence. Although, of course, if you've got some, such as, for instance, lots and lots of texts, then that's very helpful. If your solicitor thinks that it is appropriate, you can apply for an injunction on the same day or the next day that you see your solicitor. These injunctions are obtained without the other side knowing. Generally speaking, you're allowed to obtain one of these injunctions if you feel that should the other side know about the injunction before it's granted, you could suffer some harm. If your solicitor advises you that that is not the appropriate way to proceed with your case, then you will need to issue the injunction and it will be sent or served on the other side. They then have an opportunity to attend court without the injunction having been made. Non-molestation orders automatically have a power of arrest attached to them, so this means that you can phone the police. They will then come out and arrest the respondent and take him or her before a court the next day. Occupation orders are slightly different in that a power of arrest is not automatically attached to the order. If the court feels that it is warranted, then it will do so, in which case you can phone the police and they will then come out and arrest the respondent. If, however, the court has decided that your case is not serious enough for a power of arrest to be attached to an occupation order, you will then need to contact your solicitor and make another application to the same court, asking the court to punish the respondent for whatever breach he or she, he or she has perpetrated. Injunctions can take anything from a couple of weeks to a couple of months, depending upon whether the person you're applying for the injunction against decides to contest it. If they don't, then it will just be a couple of weeks 